Continuing with our hashtag YWPI feature, I'm joined by Eric Herrera of the Men's Soccer Program. Eric, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So uh, how'd you first hear about AAWPI? You're a, uh, you're a West Coast kid. Um, how did you first hear about WPI? Um, my coach, the WPI soccer coach, uh, Brian Kelly, emailed me um, after I had been at a soccer tournament down in Florida. And that's how I first found out. So I looked them up and started getting information about school. So you had never heard of us until you made the contact with coach? Yes, that's correct. Great. And uh, um, what got you interested? What did he say that got you interested in us? Well, really, um, I started looking into you guys uh, through the website and I found out a lot of information. I started looking at you guys' programs and all that stuff because I really hadn't heard anything about WPI. And uh, I, I really enjoyed looking and look, seeing, you know, all the activities and uh, all the projects really that goes on. That project is really what caught me, um, caught my eye a lot. We'll get back to that in a second. So when did you first come to WPI? Did you tour? Did you do a recruiting visit? Was it one and the same? No, actually, I had never uh, came to WPI before. I actually was, uh, I did a lot of the online tours. I didn't have the feasibility to get over here beforehand. So I got as much information as I could. Um, so you were you were ahead of your time before the pandemic. You, you were yeah. really ahead of your time in uh, 2020, correct? Um, I guess so. What did you learn about the college uh, virtually? I, I think that's a great question to ask because now we find a lot of high school student athletes have to go through not being on campus. What did you learn uh, virtually? Um, I guess like putting myself in WPI, like I, I not only just look at like, you know, the, the you guys have the on the ground tours. So like yep. that's a 360 camera and it's, it's really great. Um, and I not only looked at the school, but I looked at surrounding a little bit, you know, to try and like locate myself and see if I felt actually comfortable with what I saw as well as uh, looked into, again, the communities and the project going on at the school to see if that felt home. So your first visit on the campus was to move in before soccer practice, basically. Yeah, correct. Uh, what? So you step on a campus for the first time, hoping, thinking, and knowing you're going to be here for four years. What was your first thought when you got here? Um, I, I actually was really astounded, and I was like, this was, you know, it was like, very close to what I had seen online and being there just kind of like put it really in perspective. And I actually really enjoyed what I'd seen for the first time there and walking around campus for the first time. And I love talking to the fall athletes. And I think you in particular might agree with this. Um, I think it's a huge advantage to get onto campus before everybody else for your preseason, especially for somebody who hadn't been to campus before. You just, first off, you, you get a head start because you know 30 or 35 of your teammates you probably get to know the other student athletes in the other fall sports, but uh, just to talk about playing a fall sport and being on campus, uh, um, you know, a week before everybody else. Yeah. So that definitely helped with my acclimation. Um, being on campus ahead of time, really kind of like you, you get tight with the soccer guys. Um, and I'm sure that's correct for every other sport that you kind of with. Um, but after when classes started, it, uh, really opened up and you got to know a lot more people. Um, like it's, everyone's just there and you've already feel comfortable in the school. So really getting ahead of time, getting there and like focusing on training, but then all of a sudden the transition into school, um, it just gives you a nice break in period. And uh, uh, continuing with that, just uh, talk about your first year experience. Um, you know, you, you said you came here for the projects, one of the, uh, with the projects, um, comes the seven week terms is it, that has to be an adjustment. Uh, yeah, actually I got, I hadn't, <laughs> it's much different, uh, from like any other schooling that I had beforehand. So, uh, the seven week terms, it goes quickly. It really goes quickly, much faster than I expect. Um, yeah. and like, but it gives you a chance to focus really and really hone in on what you're doing at that time so that you can move on to the next subject and continue to build. It's a great process. And then uh, when did you apply to WPI? Do you remember what month or which path you went? I'm not sure, but I do know that I applied late. Like I was, I think I was three or four months before, you know, like commitment date was there. And did you make the, did you wait to the last moment to make your commitment or did you do that relatively early? Um, I guess I was in the middle of the pack, you could say. Yep. 
Yep. And then just give me an, ex an example of something about WPI that you know and you love uh, that you didn't really know about when you were, you know, midway through your senior year, kind of uh, kind of looking at us. What's something that, you know, is is one of the really good things that, that you didn't expect? Well, I had said beforehand that um, the, the shops and all that stuff, like for Foise and, the, you know, the workspaces were going to be open and all that. But I really didn't understand how open that meant, where you could literally just go on to the Foise's website and do a couple quizzes, do some safety training through there. And really, all the shops are open. You need so much accessibility to tools and resources that you didn't think you actually had. So now I'll put you on the spot with the final question. Uh, coming from San Diego, you must hear a lot of people in the winter say, why the heck would you come to the Northeast from, from uh, San Diego? What do you, how do you answer that question? <laughs> well, um, in San Diego, the, uh, the weather doesn't really change. So it's pretty consistent. And I guess I came here to not only experience the, the difference in the weather changing throughout the season, but uh, just to experience weather itself. You know, I hadn't really seen snow before coming here. And that was a great time, my first snow. Uh, it, does it get less of a great time every time you get some? Yeah, it definitely, the cold gets a little, uh, it gets to your bones the longer you're here. But uh, you, but you can always go home for a few weeks um, in between terms and and uh, and and in the summer and uh, enjoy that uh, San Diego weather. Well, we're glad you, that you chose Worcester winter weather over San Diego, and uh, it sounds like you are too. Um, Eric, thanks for joining us, and thanks uh, uh, for uh, sharing uh, your YWPI story. Thank you so much.